Hey gang, Ham here with Occupy Mars, and I've been enjoying this great little gem of an early access game so far. And if you're like me and you've got yourself the uh, the mining rover here, the large rover, or the heavy rover, whatever it's called, and you're wondering how to do the mining and drop it off, and you've got yourself the ore deposit, but you're struggling with a couple of things, here's a couple of tips, hints, and tricks that Chat and I worked out on the live streams. Yes, live, I struggled, and we figured it out together, and I'm going to share those tips and hints and tricks with you just to help you get progressive rest a little bit quicker. Stay tuned. Tip one, make sure you check your truck because it's got this little, it's got little side passages, right? So on the right hand side of the vehicle, you've got this little uh, compartment here, which utilizes your tools. I've unlocked the drill bit, but you don't start with the drill bit. You just start with the crane head and you start with two Rover oxygen extension bottles like I have here. And later on, you have the op option to upgrade those, but you have those little extension bottles right now, okay? And all your tools go in here, your, your heads and tips and stuff, and you unlock those as you go. You start off with the crane one, right? On this side of the truck is your entrance in here. Make sure you check your inventories because up in this inventory, you I'm have sorry. a spare helmet. I'm afraid you can't do that. Thank you. You have a spare helmet, and in here you'll have a spare oxygen tank and a spare water tank, I'm sorry. which I I'm put... afraid you can't do that. Okay, I'm going to close that because <laughs> that's getting quite loud. And over in here, you have an inventory in the truck where I've actually now put that O2 and that H2O because I've been off venturing around the countryside, and I keep them in here now as spares and backups. Also, this is the inventory that you get with the truck. It's quite extensive, and it's great for exploring this truck, okay? Uh, we've managed to do a lot of uh, camping days out from base just utilizing this base, and if you'd like to check that out, you can check out the streams below, and you'll see how that works. Right, so off and on, this is the little power replenish point that you can replenish on here but just be wary that you will drain the power from the battery if you replenish from this battery pack and here's the door switch just here so let's switch the door let's go and pick up some ore and i'll show you how this works right so here we are we've got some smashed up rocks we're ready to load into the trailer for this example i'm not going to load the full trailer but i'll show you exactly what happens here so we're doing external camera at the moment we just hit the v camera and we can go back into the cockpit you've got all your cockpit here so you've got your battery oxygen up here are your lights for your left hand side in the front and your right hand side in the front and you've got uh, your lock differential transport mode rear camera and attach hook right don't worry about those though for the moment we're just worrying about our mining so to get to this mining screen if i just stand up here for a second this is the mining screen over here and this was our drive screens just here we sit back in the seat to get to that mining screen over here just hit the tab key you'll swivel around right here so now we're swiveled in the seat and we're facing this camera right so we want to go to crane camera Right, there's that crane camera, and um, we can see our crane is attached there. It will automatically do that and set it up once you hit um, into the tab key to get into this station. Right, so a couple of things. You can use your mouse to move around. Use your mouse wheel to scroll uh, the crane in and out. The other option is use your W, A, S, and D to move the camera, which is much easier, right? Um, D, D to turn right, W, uh, I mean, D to turn right and A to turn left. W to go up and D to go down. And then uh, still the mouse wheel to scroll out, scroll out. Right, so once you come over here, you can see it's highlighted with a green cross and a red circle over that rock. We come down with the D key, scroll back a bit, come up, scroll back, come down, open it out the claw, much like the claw game. Um, and then you hit, you hit the uh, left mouse button and up you come. And then we use the, uh, we use the D key to scroll it around. Then we'll come down. Now, a couple of things. If I just drop this rock in here, this might be a bad example, but we'll check it. If I just drop that there, it worked, right? It went in. It went in far enough. Sometimes if you get a bit of rock that's actually too big, let's see if we can find one here. We may, we may not be able to find one, but sometimes you might be... This might work here. You might be, uh, you might get a rock like this, which won't go all the way into the truck, and it will just sit on top, right? And you'll think, oh, that's no good. How am I supposed to get that in there? Just pick it up, then push it all the way down. There's a little trick that we learned. Now let go of it once it's sort of half cut through. Let go of it. 
and in it goes, all right? I don't know if that'll last very long in the game, but that's another little tip and trick and hip, um, hint and trick and tip, sorry, that we learned along the way. So we just grab a few more of these, we throw them in, and away we go, right? As long as they sort of get in there, and you can see how it works, right? It's pretty simple. Pick it up. It's the claw game. It's actually a bit of fun. It's actually a fun little component of the actual game itself. Now we see there that didn't go in. So I'm going to pick it up again and I'm actually going to push it down manually. Let it go. And the game will automatically look it up. Right? Hook it up. Right. So if now, if you want to know how much you've got in here and how full you are or how much you've got left to go, if you simply let's just hit the right mouse key, which is going to back us out of this crane mode. Now, if we look down here, you can see the actual trailer just here. I'm going to try and zoom in as much as I can. You can see that white trailer, semi-truck controller, just here, right? This is where I'm looking. You can see there's a slight blue line at the bottom here. That is the actual fill of how much is actually in this trailer. And the white component, the white section of the trailer is how empty it is. The blue component is how much you're filling it up. So if we go back to the crane mode and you keep an eye on that blue in the bottom left-hand corner, We'll scroll out to, we'll get this chunk here because this is an actual ore chunk and ore chunks tend to uh, give you a little bit more fill. All right, we'll drop that in there. And you can see that blue bar on the bottom right is filling up. Let's try and get another one and I'll just show you that again. We'll get these two and then we'll go back and examine how much those are, how much that, that's gone up. So one, remember we were right down the bottom. It was still early days. It wasn't much going on. We'll pick that one up. And we'll back out of that. And now you can see we're about uh, a, f a quarter of the way up with that blue line has risen up. So that's how you can tell your fill mark. All right. Another thing I just want to show you. Now I'm just going to back out of the seat. So we're going to hit tab to come back around to the front. Then I'm going to um, left, I mean right click to get out. We're going to get out of this van. All right. Now, if you bring up your um, scanner here and you look at the rock and it tells you it's got main component is iron, but your subcomponents are silicon, calcium, and aluminium. That's what you're going to get out of this rock when you're loading it in, and we take it over to the oil refinery. Let's go over to the oil refinery now with what we've got. I won't do a full load because for the sake of this video, we're just showing you how it works. Oh, but so say you've got your full extreme. load and you want to head back over to the oil refinery we can actually um you can we can let's um let's go back in here right let's go back in here uh and we'll go crane camera mm, no i'll tell you what we do we'll go transport mode and we'll go external view and you can see this pack away right tool goes in there that goes down packs away and off we go right lovely all packed away let's go tab back to the main screen Let's drive around now to this uh, this ore refinery. So you've got your ore refinery set up. This is where I had a little bit of trouble because I couldn't figure out how to actually dump the ore in, right? So you can actually release this this little um you can release this little hook off the back, right? So if I actually go attach trailer, I can release this trailer off the back and put it on the ground, much like a skip or a skip bin that you would see at a construction site or something. You could detach it and pick up another empty one and so forth. We don't want to do that though. We want to keep our trailer on the back. Uh, I want to attach, please. There we go. We're going to attach it back up. I don't want to leave it on the ground. And that's how you would simply just swap out. You would hit T uh, in top right corner of your controls. Hit T and you could, get, you could just keep filling up container after container. And if you probably had friends, I guess for multiplayer later on, you might be able to have multiple of these rovers. At the moment, I tried to get two of these rovers. I can only have one so far. All right, so you've got your little ore refinery bit. I know the video is dragging on, but I want to give you guys as much information as possible, as quick as possible. Let's just take a couple of look. Let's just have a bit of a look at this thing for a second. Right. So, a couple of things with this uh, ore refinery here, this ore um, machine. Right here, it is. It's it's got to be plugged into to some power. I've plugged it into a transformer, which then goes into a battery, which the battery then supplies it with minimum of ten kilowatts of power. Okay, it needs a maximum, or a, well, at the moment, it needs ten kilowatts of power. And you can tell that by looking at it here. On the bottom left, you can see 10, uh, and there we go, 10 kilowatts. I'm pretty sure it's 10 kilowatts of power. 
utilized, okay? We go in here, and I've actually got some ore in here that I've got some from earlier, so I've got plenty of ore just sitting there, still ready to go. So, there we are, it's ready to go. When you drive up to it, make sure that this point here, this little sort of area here, so this orange X here, and this orange X here, are the side that you drive on first. If you drive on from this direction, and we and we head towards the uh, buggy, it's not going to work. You need to make sure that your trailer kind of lines up with this box here and these two orange points, okay? And the front of the cab should be up over this meshed grill area. I can't make that any clearer. That is what you got to do. Make sure that this box section here and the actual console are at the back of the buggy, okay? So we'll get back in and I'll show you a couple of things because it didn't it didn't tell it doesn't tell you and I looked in the I looked in the guide and I couldn't find it. Let's drive up, right? So we're driving up, and this is what I'm saying. You need to make sure the front is over the meshed area and the back is towards um, this sort of boxed uh, console area at the back and the orange bits, right? Make sure then once you've got yourself, you're pretty close, you're lined up, look in your cab and you can see stop and unloading zone, right? So that's your unloading zone right there, okay? You can just be in the cab and do it. What we're going to do next is we're going to go unload, Go view, and there it is. It's unloading our ore straight in automatically, and it's getting chewed up, and it's all done. Okay? So that's it. That's the basics on mining with the ore truck, or with the uh, ore rover anyway. I hope that was intuitive. I hope it was informative, and if it wasn't, and you've got more questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below, or if you've got any more tips or hints or tricks you'd like to pass on to other viewers, then feel free to leave them down below too. We also have a Discord page that you can come along to. It's on the home screen of my YouTube page on the top right on the banner. You can click there and come and join, and we've got plenty of people that are happy to answer questions and a great community of people and uh we'd love to hear from you and if you've got any questions feel free to ask okay that's it i hope you've enjoyed that today i hope it's been helpful and i hope you've got something out of it and i hope you're enjoying this game as much as we have been it's been fantastic stay safe wherever you are stay glued to your screen and uh get out of here all right i'm gonna go do some more mining Oxygen source, external.